Hello everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to start learning about the Illustrator interface. And we're just, it's going to be the pretty much the first getting started video that we're going to use. So let's go over the Illustrator menu. So first of all, or the interface. So first of all, let's create a new document. Go to File, and we'll go to New. And then we got our new document. Now you can name it whatever you need to, and preferably something that's recognizable to the project that you're working on. And then we've got a profile here. And pretty much these are a list of settings for these settings down here. We've got artboards, which are the um, pretty much the white canvas here that you're going to be working on. And then you got your width, your height, and then we've got some preset sizes. And then um, we've got some bleed here, which I'll go over all this other stuff uh, later on. So just go ahead and hit OK so we can just have something up here to look at. And, and now you can see what we've, uh, we've got going on here. We've got some guides up here, some more guides. And all these guides that are on here right now are for TV. And I'll go over these at some point in time in a little more depth. So let's go over the interface. Up here, we've got our menus. And these all display lists of commands that you can use. Our second that we've got down here is the, uh, we've got the application bar. And uh, that, this, that's these right here. And this changes like the layout and since we don't have any other like canvases to look at, it's not gonna change up. But at some point we'll go over that. And this button here takes you to a uh, bridge, and that's like a program that Adobe made. That it's like kind of like the uh, the Windows. It's kind of like this. If I click on it, I'll show you. It might take a second to load up. So, and it's basically like a um, f file finder kind of thing, but that's what bridge is. And then you can use that to like import canvases and things like that. We've got our control panel over here. And that displays the options for the uh, currently selected tool. That's this whole section here. And you see we've got different things for different tools. So if I click on another tool, got our pen tool, and here's the text, and you can see more stuff's popping up. So you can see the uh, different things coming up. Not every tool has all, a bunch of different stuff on it. So we're going to come over here to the left, and this is the tools panel. And it contains drawing and other related tools. And you can use these to manipulate your graphics. And over here on the right, we've got the panels panel. And um, these uh, pretty much give you the tools to modify and check your documents. So things like uh, your appearance, your color, your layers, and your links. So this is the layers. And we've got our different artboards here. And then we've got different things that I'll end up going over at some point, pretty soon probably. This uh, section up here is called the document window, or window, and this is gonna contain all the list of the open documents. So if I open another one, you can see I can move back and forth between documents. Here in the, in the middle here, this is the artboard and that's the uh, workspace for your uh, Illustrator designs. And then in the back here is, I'll go to this one here, this back, this gray area, that's a canvas. And that provides the work area outside of an artboard. So I can uh, go ahead and grab something and I can move it out and it still be outside of there. It uh, helps to organize things and get them out of the way if you really need to. Now what's new in, CS6 is you can uh, change the user interface brightness up a little bit. So if you don't like the style that you've got, 
go to edit, we'll go to preferences and user interface. And we've got this brightness here and we can change it to whatever we need to. Whatever you feel is better on your eyes and whatever you like more. And I went to medium dark to try to keep it in between to um, kind of appeal to everybody. But you do it, you put it on whatever you want to. It's not going to affect the way we go through our tutorials. So that's going to be it for the tutorial about the interface. Um, actually, we got down here. Actually, I forgot to go over. Um, we've got this section here where it tells us what tool we have selected. So right now I have the direct selection tool. If I uh, pick this one, we've got the selection tool, and I'll come down to here. Now we've got the gradient. We've got our zoom amount here. Fit on screen will pretty much uh, help you out the most, I think. And then we've got here our artboards. And since we only have one, only one shows up. And you can use these panels here to, to switch between your artboards. And as you can see, you, have, you can have more than one artboard in a document. That way you don't have to have a whole bunch of documents open. You can uh, kind of just go through each one. Kind of like um, if you ever used Excel, you have different uh, workbooks. And in this one, you have different artboards. So now um, we're done with this uh, tutorial about the interface. And in the next tutorial, we're going to start going over our uh, panels, how to show out uh, different panels and hide them. So we can go over these th over here on the right. Now you know what I'm talking about when I talk about like maybe the menu bar or the artboard or the tools panel. So it's a good way to start out. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.